What is the nursing process? The nursing process is a systematic tool that nurses can use to create a care plan for their patients. The patient in any situation can be an individual, a family, or even the community as a whole. Nonetheless, the nursing process can be applied. The nursing process consists of five steps. They are assessment, diagnosis, planning, intervention or implementation, and evaluation. An easy way to remember the five steps in order is using the acronym ADPI. In this brief video, we'll discuss each of the five steps individually, stressing the main points. Assessment. This is the first step in the nursing process. In this phase, the goal is to gather data from the patient regarding their health. This is done by observation, interview, and examination. This may include observing the patient for their general appearance, interviewing the patient to elect comments or concerns regarding their health, health history or family history, and possibly a physical examination. Diagnosis is the next step. In this step, we take the information that we collected from the assessment phase and we identify problems or potential problems the patient may be facing relating to the health. A nursing diagnosis is then formulated using NANA guidelines, and these NANA guidelines will help us find a diagnosis that closely resembles the patient's problems that they're currently facing. Many patients may have multiple problems, which leads to multiple diagnoses. With patients like these, we have to prioritize the diagnosis to formulate a plan, which leads us into step three of the nursing process. So, after you're diagnosed, what do you do? Well, that would be the planning stage, or deciding what to do about the patient. Determine what interventions are warranted, what actions should be taken, everything from how often you should be monitored, to what specific actions you should perform. It's important to remember during this stage that you should only plan for nursing interventions. Uh, you, for instance, you can recommend a medication. However, you cannot plan to administer this medication if the patient's physician has not yet prescribed it. After you plan, you actually take those actions. That would be the implementation phase, the action. As you go along to performing your actions, uh, that you plan for. You want to be assessing the results of these actions as you go along. Um, you want to determine their effectiveness. Are they working? Are they not? You want to document everything. It's a very important step, both legally and for, at the end of the phase, researching whether it was effective or not. It's important to remember that even if your planned implementation is doing nothing, that that is still an action and it should still be recorded. And the final part of the nursing process is the evaluation phase. You take a look at all your notes, all your documentation, and what you've seen with the patient, and attempt to determine the effectiveness of the care you provided. What's changed with the patient? Had the patient changed when we didn't want him to change, or has they remained stable? If we wanted the patient to change, what's their change? All this is an attempt to determine just how effective the actions you took were. Um, what new diagnoses can be made? of the evaluation phase, you probably go back to the start of the nursing process again, the assessment. Because whether the patient is on deteriorating or on the road to recovery, you can probably make some new diagnosis and probably want to adapt your care to the patient. The nursing process isn't so much as a straight line.